tuned in to the Connect. What up, world? Welcome to the Connect. It's your boy Slim Thugger. Post Life Rico. And OG Shop. And goddamn Sam ain't make it again. He's back on the fire list. <laughs> I talked to Sam a little while ago. He sounded like he had a lot of kids in the background. So Sam need a babysitter, uh, a woman who can hold him down. Yeah, anybody looking for a good man with two kids that he cook on Instagram, he sing on Instagram, he clean, he fold clothes, <laughs> and he run two miles a day. Get that young Sam. Yep, man. Good guy. Nice guy, man. All y'all around here talking about, I ain't no good guys out there. Sam. Sam is the man. Man, what the fuck is going on in this world? This bitch ain't over yet. It, it, it feel like it's coming to it. It feel like any it day, like, it's going to be over. It dude. look like it's coming to it. It's, it's, it's getting now. over, nigga. Like People's judgment and like. Man, this shit is, yeah. everything it, you, every, every way you look, the life is in shambles every way you look. Do, do you realize how. You used to go to sleep, happy to wake up tomorrow and see what you was going to do. Yeah. Now you wake up to see what the fuck went on crazy in shit the world. Happened. You yeah. know some crazy shit done happened. And, and the craziest shit about the craziest shit that's happening is, ain't shit crazy no more. Everything crazy happened right. so much, a nigga don't give a fuck. You're not in Man, shock. we just had the biggest mass shooting ever in America. Ever. Niggas will post that hoe, pray for Vegas, and the next post is going to be the memo, whatever funny right now. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's so right. desensitized. Away that quick. Everybody's yes. so desensitized, man. The world's so fucked up. We hear down the Trump bitch ass say something stupid every single day that we are desensitized to all the shit that's happening. This is like major disasters, hurricanes we ain't never seen before, whole islands going under. Right. And then you go down the street, the whole fucking state on fire over here on this side. Like, it's just the craziest shit, all of the craziest disasters in the world, man. And niggas having mass shootings. Like, everything you think of. Everything you think about is going down right now. It take you to believe. Racist motherfucking cops killing all these fucking black kids. Is the conspiracy theory people really crazy? And, then, and once upon a time, you wouldn't want to talk to them. <laughs> right. But like, they making sense now. Yeah, and then you got the whole, uh, it's like a, we can see a war in America happening or some shit with this shit from football. Starting from football, it's just dividing the whole motherfucking country. It's dividing the whole country. Because now you got motherfuckers who want to stand up and salute the flag, and then you got motherfuckers who say, "Now nah, we kneeling." And man, it's just a bunch of bullshit. And they don't want you to watch football no more. They yeah, want you. You, gotta, they, you, you, you don't know what you're doing. Now you can't watch football, even though Deshaun Watson put up fifty-seven. So maybe nobody should watch the Texas game and them niggas will win. (laughs) (laughs) It's like a big division, though. Like when you divide up everybody, you're trying to conquer something. So what we want? Oh, North Korea about to shoot the rocket at us, and we paying attention to the crazy shit that's going on right here. Puerto Rico out of there. It's just bad. It's just fucked up out here, man. Bad, it's man. fucked up, fool. If you think about it, everywhere you look, all day, every day, all you hear is fucked up shit. Nobody judgment is but right. The thing is, nobody respect each other. No, nobody. Nobody respecting what young the president niggas, say right young now. Young niggas killing each other over rapping. Like you know, what I'm saying. Right. Like, that don't even right. matter. Yeah, they really niggas, taking that big niggas shit. Niggas going to jail for life over rap, nigga. Like, yeah, niggas, sixteen years old. Take K by sixteen years old, go to jail. Well, I don't know if he went to jail for rap. But I'm just saying, like a lot of niggas is you know uh, getting shot up and man over rap and no, beef it's, and it's, shit. It's really, right. it's really like the the whole Chicago scene. It, it used to really be a gang scene. Yeah. It's not no more. It's over rap. That's These are crazy. little clicks. That's it's the all over rap. Man. That's all the shit with Yo Gotti and Young Dolph. It's rap. Oh, man. This shit is all rap. Please, God, don't tell me them niggas really shooting at each other, boy, at this level of success. These <laughs> <laughs> niggas get 50 bucks probably a month off the show. Probably double that. Double, double that. that. Double, double that. that. Every night, probably. Double that. And you niggas want to shoot each other and risk going to jail and lose that bag for after you sit there watching Kevin Gates in that home losing all them chicks. We was just, we weren't seeing them last week. 
Niggas ain't hustlers, boo. If you don't have, you ain't I went no real to hustler. Chicago. I was getting off the plane, coming back here, and he was getting on the plane going to Chicago. So you know he getting that bag. Man, you Boom. can't, y'all rappers can't claim y'all hustlers if y'all niggas out here risking going to jail for life over some rap shit. Over like, some rap. You know what I'm saying? Okay, how long you gotta be for it get goofy to be a gangster and be ready to shoot niggas over nothing? Now? What's the reason these niggas is fighting and arguing they though? Said, from Memphis, like, yeah, like what is it? What is it over? I can't just see myself at 37 ready to shoot up no nigga from the south side over no beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be Life like, is man. much greater than that. Man, I'm not going to give up my king side of the bed and these bitches, man. What? Like, how niggas even considering I mean, it? But at even... 37, you realize what was once a beef, it really wasn't a beef. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Man, I don't care about other niggas like that to go to jail for them. That's my thing, like... That's what niggas got to Jedi learn, I guess how you got to say it. Niggas got to learn how to not care about other niggas, man. Niggas be hating. It's a nigga hating on me now. I don't even know him. But I'm not. I wouldn't shoot him and risk going to jail. Yeah, because he don't have any speci- He don't have any good hating reasons, though. He just, matter, he, like, so, he killing you know, himself. I'm saying it don't matter about no haters, though. It's like, I don't love him, like. No, I don't that's a good reason. I'm at the crib, nigga. I don't give a fuck about you, nigga. I don't care if you don't like me or not. What the fuck it matter to me? Well, evidently, them niggas got some beef going on. They, it's, it got to be something serious if you if you ask me, because them niggas is, they got it on site. It's serious to them right now, but when they realize it, small things to a giant. You could have moved on from that. Listen, oh, well, they could have jumped out and got the squabble right it's there on bigger, Hollywood it's Drive. Issues in the world. You gotta, if you from the streets, you gotta understand. Hey, man, look, I'm not in the streets no more, and look, I'm blessed to not have to be in the streets no more. That's what I'm saying. You gotta measure. You gotta pull out your rule and say, man, I done made it this far. Am I gonna play? I'm, I'm gone. And risk going lower than where I came from the streets back to jail on some fighting shit. Especially Dolph. He been shot at twice. He didn't definitely need to like cut the beef out. It's serious like, hey, nigga, they at your head. Leave it alone know, right I now. Know, you know, I already know it's young niggas who wild. And, we, and we he, was young. We all was yeah. young, doing wild shit. So, you know, and see, you got to man, he younger than your guy, so he probably the one that's keeping it intensified. Yeah. That honey shot, that been jammed yeah. like a motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, what it was the twenty didn't miss, so we yeah. leave that shit alone, boy, alone no. man. Don't do a new song about this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, he gonna come back. You not gonna ain't stop kill me, nigga. You not gonna Fuck stop me. it. Oh man. Yeah. Stop it, man. First of all, but it's crazy. That's why they taking rap to. First of all, man, don't do your city like that, man. Like Houston need to get on that too, though, man. Don't divide. Don't do that, man. Like, if y'all both get money, man, stick together. Y'all ain't got to fuck with each other and be BFFs. Do a song, though, for your city, man. Just so your city can have a crown and say, man, we the Memphis is the number one motherfucking, uh, you know, uh, yeah. town or whatever on this. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't fuck it up, you know, with the beef shit. For one, they, we, they got, we, they got we too Dolph. divided. You got Dolph. Got Gotti, it. Black youngster. Money bag, yo. Black youngster. Them niggas jamming right now. Memphis is in our dick yeah. more than any ever it ever was. More than yeah. ever Memphis was. is in our dick more than it ever was yes. right now. They need to they need to have a sit down, man, and say, man, look, bro, whatever it is we was doing, let's squash that shit. It might be too late though for that. Pride. Yeah. Guess how yeah. much money they I'm can just get saying on that they, tour though. They yeah Guess they how much how good that'll look for their city. Because all of them got a high record out right all now. All of them. That'll be a good tour. If all them niggas can get on that tour, like, I guess is what Pimp C was telling me in Zero, dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. So speak. Yeah, exactly. So speak. Yeah. yeah. But right, like I say, I was on some, we was on dumb shit back then, so I get it, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm old and you realize, man, look. That it was dumb. It was dumb shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Me and Zero in the gym every day. Same yeah, shit with y'all, nigga. Y'all should be. Get over the dumb shit. You got to come back to the realization. It's the growth. It's yeah, what it's you just you said. When, yeah. Once you see that it really wasn't even, man, we was tripping. And missing Nothing. the bag at, a, at the and same time. And missing money. 
That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like that's a bankroll. How lovely would that be to see the whole city of Memphis? That's a mean tour right there with them four I you mean, just named. Everybody that's that new and old. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. That's a, that's a mean tour. That would have been a lick right yeah. there. That would have been beautiful. That's how that shit came together. I don't like to see black people fighting no more. That's, what, that's the point shit. I was getting at. I ain't man. with it, man. I'm over it, man. Like it's so stupid. Now it's goofy. Now you want to you know, know why? Saying? You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, we the ones taking the L. We already losing. And then they smash on us like they do. And then we be looking dumb like, yeah. you know what? Half of us is going to say, we don't want to go with y'all because we know y'all against us. But y'all really right what we saying because we down here smashing on each other. Right. For nothing, for crumbs, and every time they see us do it, they just capitalize. That's why they don't. That why, to that's keep why us this, divided. That's why this cop killing shit going on. Because nobody, it's like nigga ain't, niggas don't respect, if we don't respect our lives, who the fuck gonna respect our lives? You know what I'm saying? So much ignorant shit going on that they like, man, them niggas don't give a fuck. Shoot them anyway, they shoot each other up. Yep. That's how it look, but shit. I don't understand why niggas be so mad. Like, I don't care what other niggas doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you doing something, you black, I'm like cheering you on. Like, wait, hey, I see that nigga over there getting, how many times you hear a nigga say, man, man, that nigga over there doing his thing, man, with a smile on his face, though. What's yeah. so, why, why is that not cool? Like, why I be mad know, at that? Why is you mad at another nigga who trying to make it? You know what I'm saying? Like, so let me ask y'all a question. Is that a point you come to in your life? What you mean? That, that you a, don't feel like that, that no more? A, yeah, is that a stage that you grow out of? It's really, my thing, I ain't never been no real competitive ass a, nigga. I like never well. paid attention to other yeah, people. To other people, I right. Care, yeah. I, I, I feel like I just want to do my lane. Like, if that was the case, I would have been trying to be um, major deals and keep that shit doing all that shit. Because I, I would have chased the fame. I ain't chased the fame. I chased the bag, man. Yeah. And, and um, you know, doing shit how I wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? Being in control of my shit. But. That, that's a good thing. Yeah. I always been the type to break off from the crowd. Now I come me back too. and get with the crowd. Exactly. You know that's me. I give one or two homies and go yeah. do whatever, and I come back and get with the crowd. I never sat around long enough to pay attention. Exactly. Because I was trying to get something. You know what I'm saying? But it happens so much, I just wonder... Is it a point where something bad got to happen or is that something you grow? Because we see it through everybody, everybody click, and through everybody, just through growth. Like, some, you got to it's just like a stage that people have to grow out of. Like, quit watching and go get your own. Exactly. I just heard somebody say that on Instagram. Who was it? Puffy? He was yeah. saying, if you're doing what you got to do, you ain't got time to watch no more. I ain't got bro. time to watch. That's what I'm yeah. telling you. I'm so focused on that fitness, that new lax and shit. I don't even care about what no other nigga doing in the world. Period, fool. Like, dude, God bless you, too. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, yes. I wish you the best. I don't feel like me getting money is stopping you from getting paid or you getting money is stopping me from getting paid. I don't think, I don't, that's what's wrong with niggas. They see one nigga get money and feel like he in their way. You know what I'm saying? Your bag is your bag, you know what I'm saying? And you can go get it. It's just if you focus on that instead of focusing on other niggas. Like, I just ain't got time for petty shit, you know what I mean? I ain't with no dumb shit. I'm with getting some money. We divided at so many level. levels, though. That's what we, I'm saying. We divided, and then it's obvious. You know they trying to divide us. We help keep ourselves divided, like, and I think they just capitalize off that and try to make the gaps even yeah, bigger. Yeah, they do. So, because they know at the end of the day, they can sit at a table, even if they're not agreeing, they can sit at a table together. But us, if we're not agreeing, we're not even sitting at a table together. Exactly. So we can't make nothing happen. Like, they can look past some shit and get to the point and then go in their own corners. Right. Us, yeah. we can't even get past that to even sit at the table. Like, we ain't. Like, fuck that. I'm yeah, fuck, fuck that. I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and with the, the same people that can actually help each other grow if we, exactly. you know, can actually take change over some shit. Right. Can change the, the problem, circumstances. Yeah. That's what nigga gotta realize, man. You gotta work with other motherfuckers, man. And the more niggas you hate, the less people you can work with. So, 
I don't see how you can hate niggas you don't even know or you don't fuck with or how you just how you just it's do that. Yeah. Gay to me. Like, how, how, how you hating a nigga you don't know? Right. How I'm gonna say nobody something nobody about him? What the fuck? Huh? I don't watch no nigga pockets. I don't give a fuck what nobody doing. Man, God bless you. You know that's how I feel. That's, know, that's, I don't. I don't. I definitely don't get that. I don't understand it. How you just speak on a nigga you don't know, you never met, or you ain't even cool like that. Just it ain't your business. Leave it's it alone. Kind of groupie is fool. It's like it's groupie. You watch to me. You that's watch. how I feel. Like I feel you like watch. to be doing all that. That's gay as fuck. Like yeah, cause you watch. Nobody ain't got to be around me. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel, and I wouldn't be down with that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. That's just what you gotta understand. Like I ain't with none of the sucker shit, whether somebody watching or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that shit crazy, man. To see that shit is like so goofy to me. It's like, man, what the fuck is it? So, it? It's to the point to where I was talking to somebody. Now I just know people, man. And if you talking that rah rah gangster shit, that killer shit. I probably don't even want you around. Well, right? I want to hear. <laughs> I, I don't even want exactly. you around. Because I, I see where your mentality at. And then I know nine times out of ten, you're not really even about what you're saying. Exactly. Because you're trying to prove a point. Attention whores. Yeah. Man. Attention whores. That's the main whore. thing. Attention whores trying to get some likes or, you know, or, uh, you know, get somebody to pay attention to them. It's yes. sad, man. It's sad, bro, to see that. I, I was it's at the club the other night. This nigga started pouring out his liquor, fool. And it just was pouring on the ground. And I just didn't understand what the fuck he was doing. He didn't either. I said, let me get the fuck out of here. I just walked out the club. I ain't say bye to nobody. I just left. I hate being around dumb shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is see, going it on? See, it gets like, to you. Yeah, when you, when you grow up. You grow you up. To yeah. Life, uh, level. Yeah. I ain't with no dumb shit. Yeah. I don't want to be around no dummies. No, I don't want to talk no to dummy. you. You ain't shooting out the window on the freeway. No, none of that. that <laughs> none of that stupid shit. No, shit. Yeah. Reason, no money involved. Like, that's yeah. stupid. Like, yeah. Yeah, no stupid shit. Yeah. Like I say, man, I'm at the crib smoking joints, nigga. That's blessed. You know what I'm saying? Blessed. That's living right there. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of this shit. Working, you know? Working. Yeah, but back to this mad shooting, man. Anybody know this nigga's motive? What the fuck was his reason? He was in the Mandalay Bay in the 32nd floor hotel room, right? He had a hammer. What you he mean? He had a hammer to bust out the window. To bust he the came window. Playing. He can't play. He I wonder how. 16 guns. Yeah. He had 16 more guns at home. And a bomb at home. So he knew what he was. He, he planned that. I wonder how he get that right position in that room. To just be right. He rented out the right room. He would know all of that. How did he get all that right? You know what I'm saying? Because he checked he in on the. Movie shooter. He checked in. He checked Thursday. in Thursday. So how did you just so happenly get the right fucking room on the right weekend? You want to do it? Did he? Nah, he knew what he was doing. No, he but I'm saying. Okay, so you checking the room? You don't know what they're gonna give you. What part he of the floor? Him, he probably because he was a gambler all the time. They like said he can't wow. gamble all the time. He stayed 90 miles away. He moved out there to gamble. He he go to the casino all the time and gamble. So you know, if you're a, a regular gamble, he they probably give picked you the room, same room. Give you they choice to pick. Yeah, they copy, they copy. No, I'm saying how he picked that right room number to be facing that way. He picked that he to go there. Go, he yeah. knew what was going on. No. He knew exactly what was going on. Then his daddy was a. Uh, he was in the feds before. He did some shit bank with right. a bank. Yeah, and he escaped out of prison. It was out here in Texas. Texas. It was he in was Texas. Almost wanted, yeah, he was almost wanted. But man, this is the worst shooting in history. Everything keep topping itself, man. Like 57, 57 dead and over five hundred wounded. A That's, lot a, lot That's a, a lot of people. That's a lot of people. I looked on Dan Brazilian page and he was he was running and you could hear the do 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 do. He like fuck some girl next to me brains just got blowed out. I'm going home and get a gun and he like come back ain't shit I can do. You know it's already over with. He thought it was a few motherfuckers. He yeah. thought it was a war. You know he got all the machine guns and shit. That's he was going home and get like prepared. That. He got a tank, yeah. so he was coming back and get prepared. But he was like shit. It's over with. I wonder how they found dude that fast. He shot it. Well, you know they. Oh, he that. shot himself. They, he shot himself. Oh, I thought they killed him. him. No, he uh, shot himself. 
Yeah. Shot himself and they scanned the building. Yeah, that was, that was some fucked up shit. I don't know. on the war mission. Like, what was that for? Why, what, would his, what did that prove? You know what I'm telling you? I, you know what I think, fool? Motherfuckers got to stop blowing them niggas up. Internet, all that shit there. These low life losers looking at these motherfuckers become superstars off of killing these people. And right. They wanna just and they want to go out they like that. They already was on suicide missions. Yeah. Anyway. They already was about to kill themselves. He was on suicide exactly. missions. Exactly. He, he was just, ready to go. He just wanted to be famous. You know what I'm saying? For when he go out. Yeah, I want to go out the most, kill, kill the most people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. But we blowing them up. We saying their name. We need to stop saying their name. You know that was on his mind too, because he had enough guns to do that. He had a lot of guns, and was and he? Sh- then he got a crowd. Of, he got a big crowd of people. So his intentions was to hurt a lot of people. That's what I'm saying. He trying to make himself famous. Bro. Was he shooting two guns at one time? Because that's what no, the fuck it sounded like. What happened out. with that Asian lady? He was, he was running, running out. He was. He was grabbing. I don't know. They said she in Tokyo somewhere. Oh, she ain't here. No. She probably do though. That's what they say. She got the fuck out of here. Get up with because they saying somebody had to know that he was planning this. She had to know. Yeah. Tokyo. That's why she in Tokyo. That's why she tried to be as far away yeah. from the plot. I didn't have nothing to do with that. No, nah, bitch, you knew. You had a hit. Come on back over here. Click like. And, and that's cold. What's cold is just the conspiracy of the theory is he gone. So she finna take the weight for just she gonna take She gonna take the weight because she could have stopped it. It's her fault. If they kill 57, you should be responsible for 30. <laughs> you, should, you should take half the blame for it because you could have stopped the shit. And that's how they feel. That's really how they feel. That is. That's, that's fucked up. Cause you don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's how that's going to go. It should. Because if somebody was sitting here with us and they tell us, I'm going to kill this nigga. Woo, woo. And you don't stop him, you let him go, and he go out and kill a nigga. So, should they take you to jail? No, nah, because I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> That's not me. We talking about her, though. <laughs> he talking about killing nigga and fuck no one. We talking about he nigga killing uh, 50 innocent motherfuckers. So, that's different. Because if a nigga say it, say, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably got away because he probably was going to kill her. He was going to down her, too. He probably told you, you going to come with me. You going. Yeah, but that's fucked up. Well, she could have been in a position where she left him, and he just went crazy. He went crazy, yep. I ain't no telling what the hell was on his mind. So he was taking some L's, gambling, too. Gambling, yeah. But she finna she face, face the heat, Potter. They gonna say she could have stopped this. She, she could have she could've stopped this. But like old boy who did them bombs last time. Not the, uh, not the Boston Marathon. It was something after that. Somebody did some bombs. His gal... They had got her because she knew about him doing it. I don't know what happened to her, but they sure picked her ass up. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, well. With all the crazy going on. Shit is crazy. Yep. Shit. Other crazy shit. Von Miller lost his endorsement from Ford because from taking a knee. That's like a local dealership, though. I don't think that's right. But that's still fucked up. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. The whole country getting divided out for some shit. No, I think it was the Ford. He was a head of uh, not one dealership. It was like Ford endorsed him. Oh. Yeah, like. I the, it was the no, the, no, the, well, I thought it was the whole Ford franchise. Uh, it's crazy, man, because we're still in the uproar about that. And uh, I was saying. I still, I'm, I'm, I've been watching it. I've been watching it, and I understand all sides of it. I understand about the flag, but what I can't get, and I, I just know it's fucked up. And I got to stand. I got to kneel with the people. Fuck it. If, if we go, we got to do this shit together. If we yeah. Do it, we got to just got whatever we do, do it together. Do it together. Because yeah, exactly. we letting them divide us. And what I, and what I really don't appreciate about it. Every time they talk about the main topic, nobody talks about it. They don't say what people, innocent black kids was killed. Or they don't say why they, do, why they doing it. Like no. I say, once again. They just going to, guess what they going to say? 
No, it's about the flag and they disrespecting the flag. Nah, right. So look, you won't even say they won't even say out their mouth the other problem yeah. why the dude is kneeling. Right. No, you just kneeling against the flag. That, okay. They ain't bringing it up. They just try to make it like they just don't want to respect the you flag. Just you just don't want to. You disrespecting the country. The, the whole version of the fucking uh, song. What they talking about slaves and shit. I heard it. I never listened to the boy that song long kneel. enough. That's why he kneel. Yeah. Fuck That's why he kneel. That's the purpose of the kneel. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Why, why are we putting out respect in the flag? That's racist. That's racist, right? They want us to abide by them rules, and that's why they won't even acknowledge what he kneeling for because they saying we superior, we white. Y'all follow us. This is the rules we set. This is what's gonna happen. This is what y'all gotta do. True story. That's basically what that preacher was saying on the thing. We disrespect the flag. We disrespect. It gotta be somebody. And then he went biblical. The rules gotta be like they were set, and this is what we gotta follow. Oh shit! You know what? Uh, It must be Trump whole ass because the NBA talking about you gotta stand up. You gotta Uh, stand up now. You got to. But they got a policy. They had a policy beforehand that you gotta stand. So they had their policy in place. But what they doing is. They enforcing it. They saying that that they gotta follow policy or they gonna get fined. I mean, I can understand that since it was already there, but I it stand. I wouldn't hold my hand on my heart. My should have been on my stomach. I was, did I disrespect did it in I some type it? of way? They did something. What are they doing? I ain't watched it. I ain't seen it. My thing is, man, they just need to take that shit out. They need to just do it for the fans. Let them see this. Let flag. the fans do it. Let the fans sing all that shit, and then the players come out after that. Let's stop. That's how shit, it man. used to be. Yeah, just stop all the extra shit. Let's not yeah. bring politics to fucking. Um, but that's not going. That's not going to happen because then that'll mean we win. And they ain't gonna go for that. <laughs> that that'll That's be what like, they don't want. That'll be like we got our way, and now every time we protest, we'll win. I heard so. in football it used to be like that until the army Paid. came and endorsed. So then they start coming yeah. out before, and they stand two different uh, little uh, groups paid five, six point six million. Another one paid six million. Yeah, it's kind of mm-hmm. fucked up because I got kinfolk in the army. You know what I'm saying? And I had some that went. Yeah. So like, we my daddy a veteran, but yeah. he ain't right, fucked up about it for them kneeling. He didn't understand why they kneeling. He, <laughs> he know they, they right. He understand and that. That's what they not getting to. I, I ain't even seen a white dude. So yeah, I say, seen he, him talk about say that. he understand. Say he understands. Right. And he was one that was in the league with with dudes that's how that one guy killed. They just put that mask on it. They Man, just, just they mask. The soldiers. They mask. Yeah, who died for this country? Right. Uh, so they won't even mention <laughs> this prison reform with these black kids getting shot. We don't want to talk about that. That's what we yeah. do. We've been doing that from the start. We don't want. We, back to <laughs> man, stand up doing this flag. Stand up man. doing. Stand, stand flag, up, man. nigga boy, during this flag yeah. and do what we tell you to do. Fuck basically, man. About slaves, all that shit. Fuck y'all. Yeah, we'll. All we want is a little respect, man. Like the real KKK. He he look like real, he the real leader. He's the real he look like he a real KKK. And he talk KKK. like it. Like, you're going to stand up and respect that. Oh, right. Man. Damn, that's why. That's, that's why, why we got to do it together. Like, whatever we do, like, we got to do it in uniform. And, you know. and are they still? Did they do it yesterday? Any teams did it yesterday? I ain't watching. Oh, I ain't watching. You, and, I think you still got some players that's doing yeah, it. And, I seen Miami players. It was three of them. They nil. And Ray Lewis, whole ass, this sellout ass nigga gonna say, I took two knees because I was down praying to God. Like, shut your whole ass up. You could have prayed in the back, nigga. Yeah, they so cold. He hurting on both sides now. Yeah. Because, you know, we not fucking with him. We right? definitely not fucking with him. And I heard the white people want to take his statue down out of the stadium. They should take it down. Get, it, get him out. He not black. He right. Okay. Well, that's what they said on ESPN. If they want to, they petitioning to take it take down. Take it down. Right? Take it down. You, you either going to be with us or against us. <laughs> it ain't no two sides. Play. Bye. Bye-bye, trophy. <laughs> so that's what he get for kneeling on two knees. That's what he get. Yeah. He might well put it in his backyard by his pool like your world is yours statue. Ain't no two sides. <laughs> nah, ain't no two sides, nigga. Get your ass down. You done killed some whole person and, and we're going to let you put your statue. Yeah, that what you. Like we ain't, you know, right. Right. Yeah, we ain't that nigga. 
Yo, yo, don't act like Illuminati saved you, boy. Hey, you know how many motherfuckers ask me if I play for all day, though? Why, because you black and tall? tall. Yeah, oh, okay. Now I'm in some fancy. Yeah. Play sports. I got that, jury on. You tall. Yeah. yeah. So you really can't do nothing. Black people Athletic can't do nothing but play or uh, play sports or rap. I mean, so the ones that don't know you, yeah, for being a rapper, they gonna ask you that. Oh yeah, everybody yeah. don't know me. And the, 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 the elevators. Yeah. Oh yeah, you play ball. Oh, you play board. I oh, know you gotta play for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ain't mad at y'all question. I don't even get mad at racist people, fool. Like that's that's what's wrong with the world, man. Let me Everybody tell you mad. how y'all do. Ah. Nah, let me tell you what you got. Yeah, cause help me understand this. You, <laughs> Stop giving a fuck about other people so much. Fool. Stop giving them Look, man, it's crazy people who out here who is mentally insane who will do the dumbest shit every single day, and that's just what it is. It's people who don't. Man, it's it's man, it's bullshit people all over the world, fool. We'll never you'll never fix everybody, fool. You're not. So why why are you on this journey that'll never end? You like that nigga Talib Kwali. I look on Twitter. That nigga argue with a nigga every day about race, man. Right? <laughs> oh, that's his blood pressure, man. <laughs> fuck yeah. people, man. If they don't fuck with you, right, you yeah. just simply don't speak to him and don't fuck with them. Like I don't give a fuck if you Ku Klux Klan or whatever, you're not gonna touch me. You know right. Yeah, as long that. as you don't get disrespectful with me, right. firstly. I know that. That's about anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you're not going to touch me, man. You can say whatever you want to say, whatever. You know, I don't, but you ain't going to be around me just in my face calling me no nigga. No yeah, nigga. online and all of that. That's cool. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care about them people. You're yeah. rude to that level. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about other yeah. people, man. That's what niggas got to stop doing, killing themselves, stressing themselves out. Trying to fix these motherfuckers. Giving them the negative up. energy. Because you know you're not going to change their mind. You're not going to change their mind. This shit was taught to them by their parents and grandparents. That's so what they believe. Ain't no way you, that's like, you ain't going to listen to nobody over your mom and daddy. Bro. True. And that's where right. you learn the shit from. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't change their mind. So let them people, if they crash, let them crash. Yeah. I don't, I don't fuck my, that's what I, one thing I learned, fool. I'm not going to try to fix these motherfuckers like all day. I'm going to fuck with the people who want, want the attention and want to, you know, who want to fuck with me, who want, that's who I focus on. If you on some dumb shit, crash and burn, man. And who can see what you see. Exactly. I fuck with people who got the same type of mind frame as me yeah. on the same shit I'm on. Like us. We got like minds. We want to get to the money. We want to do, we ain't on dumb shit. Yeah. None of us. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't fuck with dummies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what they think. Fuck a racist. Wasted time. Just yeah. Wasted fuck time. Fuck a racist. And even the two of a racist come in your face. Because I white dude, we was the loopies. And he just came up to us earlier and he said the dumbest shit. I just knew it was going to get racist. But you can't even get up to hit an old man or a white racist. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what what do you do? Funny. What else is funny? That, that uh, Charlottesville shit. When that nigga, them people start getting his life. And he did that video. Oh, oh yeah, crying yeah. Crying and shit like a little bitch. <laughs> That's they, what they all gonna they do. Ran back and showed the clip where he was like, "Yeah, I'm a Nazi and I fight, I die for this shit." Then he was crying. And right. Then he said, and then this motherfucker said, "Well, we we lined up. He, he was crying trying to play. I don't know what the police want me for. We made sure we called him and tell him to come out to every location. If you really a Nazi, hey, why did you, you call the police? <laughs> Go out there like a gangster. Like shit. you Y'all said, know yeah. That shit. They can, you set it up with the laws so they can protect you. Protect you, you right? Man, why is you wasting energy on these clowns, man? Fuck them people, man. Fuck yeah, I, I. I don't, I don't worry about them races, and it's cool white I mean, people too, though. I be seeing cool. it's cool, cool white people. people. I see, I, I, you know, a lot of cool white people who ain't on that dumb shit. It go back like to that. what you were saying earlier. The attentions you got to quit giving them type of people the fuel. Exactly, a fuel, fuel, energy, energy. All yeah, that, man. Like you only suffer. Like I got high blood pressure, so I don't argue with folks at all. Like if a bitch piss me off too much. Bitch, you got to go. I'm not finna die for you, ho. And I damn sure ain't die for no niggas. <laughs> so, fuck out. That's uh, how, that was how blood I pressure gotta talk. Give you, I gotta get you. A though. chick gonna do that, too. Yeah. And I don't have the time for it. I, man, look, man. Life is supposed to me. Life is supposed to be happy. That's all I know. I, don't I feel know. like life is supposed to walk out with a smile. All that confrontational shit mean it ain't the, you ain't even supposed to be here. That was to me. That was if it's all fucked up and I'm waking up fucked up and we fake laughing and smiling at each other, it's not real. It ain't it's real. Make me think I'm bad because I don't know if it's good 
or bad. But I can completely stop talking to a person. And if I do that, I'm not I don't give you no energy to think about you. They think so, you're cold hearted. Exactly. That's yeah, they ain't cold hearted. Why? I I just move on. I realize. Get it out of my life. Relax. Exactly. So I don't I don't even think about you. I don't even have... Right. I'm thinking about what's going on in, in my life and what I'm trying to do in life. So, I don't... Once we... It's done, it's done. Exactly. Especially a chick. Right. I can a stop... Chick. Never talk to them again if I say no. Nah, he is it's easy. Like, this is like I sit here, I, 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 I ask him. I mean, I mean while, whatever the situation is... You know, I'm most of the time I'm giving a hundred percent. I'm giving, you know, I'm good. I know I'm a good nigga. You can't tell me I ain't. You know what I'm saying? So if we getting into it and we just not, it ain't working out. Then I'm gonna just say, okay, it's not working out. It ain't gonna work. So what am I wasting time fucking with it? For? Keep and wasting I'm gonna time. Move on and, and look on. for some that makes sense that that's gonna work. You that's know? An anything. On that's anything. anything. Female, in, in, female, female anything. anybody, any person. Like you know, I ain't finna be fucking with nobody. If if they make me, uh, they bring me down. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. I don't want nobody around me bringing my spirits down. If you that goes for a business too. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't getting, you ain't making me money. We ain't getting along. Everything you, you, you have to be like. That. Yeah, I learned that. I learned that from my old man, man. Yeah, he said, "Don't let your pride fuck you up. Don't try to hang in there. And, uh, pride ain't nothing. Man. You gotta walk away from that and move on. It's move on, thing, man. Exactly. You know, like a motherfucker, you got to." Or be dumb. And go down with the ship. And do some you go down shit. with the ship. Yeah. That's when it. you could have got off and got on exactly. the raft. If you be in that motherfucking jail cell looking like, man, what the fuck? Yeah. I can't believe it. Should have cut a water. Too late for that. Yeah. I ain't playing no games like that. Yeah. Enough of the bad shit. <laughs> We're talking about some enlightenment yeah, shit. shit. It, it is. It ain't nothing but bad shit. You you yeah. right. That is. Ain't but bad is it shit. is it more yeah. bad shit because of the internet and social media or? Yeah. We, we could see it easy before we would have to turn the TV on and look at the news. Now you can't even scroll through Instagram and look at a bad chick or dope house or dope car and then yeah, see the yeah. bullshit. That's, I try not to post that shit a lot. Like, I try not to glorify, I mean, like, you know, post a lot of that shit on my Instagram because it's just so, it's a constant reminder, man. I just be trying to move on with my life and not focus on certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm down with whatever, but at the end of the day, like, you know, I got shit, man. I'm trying to do something. Nobody's happy no more. Well, then they, Nobody then they gonna, talk about positive shit. They going to do you like you just said. I post some shit and then the right next minute you post some other shit. They going to say, oh, you don't give a damn no more. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's because the world is desensitizing me, man. I'm seeing so much crazy shit. It's you crazy. just say a prayer and keep going. I just gotta Ooh. keep praying and stay even, in my lane. Even to the have y'all been? I've been hearing a lot of stuff about the Harvey shit, like the people over there off of Mason. I hear they not even, they turning them people down for a lot of stuff, like the Red Cross. They know these people got flooded. I yeah. hear the water line is like five eleven in these people's house. Damn. Like they making these people go to a car shop and let a car shop come out and the car shop gonna charge you up to five hundred dollars if you don't know nobody to say your car was flooded for you to go and get the check. So you gotta pay somebody to come out and do this. These people Money. They trying lost everything. They, they trying, trying to get, get back. Some people up. Water was five foot eleven in their crib. They lost everything, man. Like they taking them through a struggle. Then you got some people that probably didn't even get water like that, and they got the Red Cross. You know, they See, they money. I, I got it. I got, got five hundred from <laughs> FEMA. <laughs> I was affected. <laughs> right. I bought six hundred dollars worth of ribs that weekend. Was I, get, I was a fucking affected. <laughs> they, I want. I didn't get my forty acres in the mule. I'm trying <laughs> to get. <laughs> ain't no karma, nigga. The white people made. The government made the hurricane. That's I just want my 500 they made it they made it I'm talking about this weekend I said man y'all wrong for getting that money folks. you just saying that cause you got some money <laughs> I know some rappers that got the money how it didn't affect me you don't know what it did you wouldn't with me using Vegas you don't know what it did to me <laughs> I got the 500 Thank you FEMA Hey You lucky I didn't go Wait in that line At Greenspoint To get them Thousand dollar food stuff. <laughs> Cause I was thinking About it nigga. Fuck right. that
I was affected. Fuck that shit, nigga. Hey, they giving it away. First off, Red Cross got mil- hundreds of millions of dollars, my nigga. A lot of people got, hey, some, lot of people money, got some money, my nigga. Man, get your 500 from FEMA, your 400 from Red Cross. It don't hurt to get no money. Nah. These car places that charging these people 500, they need to be getting on their ass. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> oh, man. It's a yeah. it's a world is a business, man. The world is business. Hey, man. shit. Even in disaster. Even, Even in, in disaster, disaster, for real. Crazy. Even in disaster, people still capitalize how they can capitalize, how they can get some money. Yeah. You watch. Look how many companies gonna go over to Puerto Rico and try to get some of that money. Right. Man. Because them people they can't try to buy that land. Yeah. yeah. They gonna right. try to get right. that money. That's Puerto why Rico, they ain't rushing Puerto nowhere. Rico going to gonna get come back and be one of them slick ass islands now. Exactly. Because it really ain't no place you go really for the beach resort type thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But why why you want to come back? Mm-hmm. Well, well, yep. They gonna, just like they going to do Houston. A lot of them parts, who knows, Mesa fuck around going to be a high as uh, neighborhood after that. It's just a business, man. Yeah, business out here in these in this street. It's business, everything. Look at all them car places, man. I went a lot of love. Oh, you no, know, I went in the courthouse today. That, not a lot of that. that what's look. crazy is we don't stick together though. It's love in Mexican, and like with the Mexicans, they stick together. A lot of them do. You know what I'm saying? And our community is cool to hate me. It's like so dumb, man. Like why niggas can't get together and do some shit? It's, it's you no know love, what I'm and it's saying like we've been preaching that for. A, Cause it's so visible, like yeah. Why That's why when I visible, see niggas in the, in the club full or wherever I'm at, I, I I holler at niggas, you know. Just to, I don't even know these niggas. I be like, what's up with the boss? Like, you know, just what's up, my nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? On some what's up shit, just cause niggas be on some fuck shit all the time, fool. I think it's embedded in our people though. To it's do stupid, that, though. It's it stupid. is. It's stupid, but it's a, it's a, it's taught. It's in in a lot of us from from young. You know what I'm saying? I think it's kind of kind of hard for to to shake the cycle. You just got to start with the younger kids well, teaching the them. Next generation teach, teach them. Just imagine how yeah. strong it'll be if the niggas who was the niggas in every little you know hood got together and did shit. You know what I'm saying? The city would be so much better. You know what I'm saying? On every way level. Lie. It's on, every level. on every it level. It would be. But if it was just let's get together and do a party together. Let's do music together. Let's do whatever. Like, if it just was real niggas just everywhere working together. It, it would be nice But then to even Trying to do that Some of them niggas Be like so much hoes Like cause you Won't even work With some niggas Like man I ain't fucking With that headache You know what I'm saying I'm just saying It ain't bad It's just Some niggas Ain't that easy To get along with if, Cause like You might have Some folks in the hood Everybody on that block Selling weed First nigga get to moving the pounds, they gonna be hating on them, trying to rob them. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's, it's fucked right, up. It's, it's in, instead of going scope from the nigga at the end of the street who got the pounds, yeah. and now about now nah, fuck that, I can go to the next. I'm going to the next spot and buy my weed I'm from another nigga. I'll uh, knock him out the game I'm and take his spot. I'm gonna sell weed next door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's why I say to me personally, my opinion. 13 and under is the ones you got to grab. Them niggas that's 14 and up, they Dang. fucked up already, man. You might can teach a few of them, but they pretty much stuck in their ways. You got to get them young ones. I was explaining it to a chick the other day. She was like, I, I teach my son love. And woo, woo, I said, yeah, and that's great. That's good. That's what you got to do, but you got to understand. He going to go to school where it's probably 10 more people that don't, so he going to adapt to them ways because that's where he be. Every day, all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gonna think that's cool, and what you saying is lame. So it like it gotta be done as a whole. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you do that though? It's hard. That's you got hard. somebody got to come hard. through with one of them mentor programs so after school in the neighborhood. You gotta get at the older people to make them see this vision, to make them put this back in their household. Yeah. For us, it was in our household. We wanted to go out and do the crazy shit. It wasn't we was taught the crazy shit already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's so many people, mamas so and daddies. So now you think at this day and age, you talk the crazy shit. So you yeah. can't do nothing but come out and do some of them talk, super wild shit. And some of them ain't even talk. They raising they selves. They raising they selves. It's a fake of the mamas and daddies from, on drugs and shit. Yeah. Daddy gone. Yeah. Daddy gone and mama want to be in the streets. Right. 
If it, all, even if you even if mama don't want to be in the streets, mama might gotta work like a motherfucker. Gotta she work, gotta right? Mama might gotta be gone. Might gotta be out late night hustling and daytime mm-hmm. hustling, sleep. Yeah, so you raising yourself. Just think of how many niggas we knew and chicks from back in the day that was on water and pills. They kids is the one that's eighteen to twenty now. Right. When we was graduating, right. we turned eighteen. They the ones who kids. Yeah, they also knew. Right. Now they grown. They grown and they, they wasn't grown. raised right because you was on water and pills they all grown. your life. Yeah. They grown. Yeah. That's it. It's a chain effect, man. It's a chain effect, man. It a uh, it. I just noticed it. It had me in the club just looking at people instead of enjoying myself. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck am I going out for? I don't, I, it's, that honestly, man, yeah. that's how I got to like, like I don't even, I don't even, I, I end up in clay and shit like that. Like, yeah, because you want to go somewhere and enjoy yourself and, and have like, fun. Yeah. Like that. you just want to have a good time. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? It just gets stupid though. That's dumb though. Niggas should be able to. It's crazy. Be with his people. You, you should be with his people. Yeah. The other night I went to or I went with and it wasn't a, it wasn't a black night it was day night. Yeah. But everybody in there was partying like they wasn't Mind they wasn't worried about nobody else. Yeah. They'll step on your shoe and keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> They'll step on your shoe That's and keep on going. Don't know. even and if you look at it like what is this a shoe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you doing a nigga nigga these Balenciagas nigga what you <laughs> nigga what nigga. <laughs> Why did you wear them here, nigga? And everybody watching each other. Yeah, watching each other. What they doing? Nigga, I make sure I wear mostly a pair of black tennis shoes when I go to the club. Nigga, you step on nigga's shoe because you know you in a crowded place. I don't even get mad. Like, okay, I know that's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And niggas in there looking to see how many bottle walls about the craziest shit to me. (laughs) Bottle walls. Bottle walls because you buying... You okay, you done got your girls in the section drunk, your niggas, everybody drunk. You see the next nigga buy five ace. I'll oh, fuck that. I'm finna <laughs> buy ten. Why? Y'all can't even drink ten, nigga. Y'all, y- already you down. already down. So you, you should be comparing down. nigga who the drunkest uh, out of our crew that's then. That watching. That's that watching. That's that so watching. so everybody should be paying nigga, we drunk out of y'all bottles. What y'all doing? Well look, they so goofy they don't even get who doing it. The dudes who setting them up is the promoters. Exactly. The and and what they doing with them bottles when they bring yeah, them out? They bring them out right back in. Girls go right T- back tuck back them in, go yeah. right back and see. I didn't catch that till yeah. you told me, but it's a good move. Like two of them, they take three, it's, good, man, it's a good like, move on the promoter. You can't be mad said, at them. That's what, because they know, they just, uh, they just, uh, what the fuck, not benefiting. They just making money out for knowing niggas going to battle each other. They, they don't. Make exactly. Like it's lit. Exactly. So they sparked the they first know move. Niggas, they know right. They want to battle with each other and, and try they, to beat the and niggas, niggas and, and promote a nigga ain't got more money than me. Yeah. Bring me double what he bring. And well, you, yeah. the, you the feel for the wham all around. <laughs> Chasing they, the and they might be getting that percentage off the bar. I think they even losing sight of the hoes. I think niggas just looking at each other like. I, I really <laughs> believe that, man. I, I, I think they care because they sexually be a bunch of niggas. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck is we here for, man? <laughs> Looking at, we need to bring back. We, we need, end up hitting each other. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then we want to be. Too many musty niggas, hey man. We want to be out, but we ain't got nowhere to have fun. We need a club like the Office from back in the day. Yeah. Office was yeah. a cool yeah. bar. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, a couple of them popping up more. What is? I don't want to say on the podcast. I'm yeah. a musty yeah. nigga. Show up there. Yeah. Is it a white club or black club? Black. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even know about it. Yeah. I've been saying it's a white club. They ain't gonna let their mustache in. I'm trying to come over the black club. <laughs> uh, I just seen some niggas go to Aura and be sitting outside. Like, Man, that's fucked up. They won't let me in. That nigga, they ain't letting your kind in. You got diamonds on your shirt and shit. It's affliction. <laughs> they ain't letting you in now. Them Robin jeans, most likely they're not letting you in now. You got them rhinestones on your back pocket, my nigga. You don't know nobody now. It's a good chance you're not getting in, kid. You, your chucks are getting in for some Balenciagas up in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. What else we got going on in this world? Shit. We went to the Nars and Lauren Hill concert. Yep, that was dope. That was dope. I'm just not a super fan of either. 
They got hits, but I ain't just no big fan like how I'd be at a Jay Z concert. But they both rocked it. Nas got some shit. Yeah, he do got a lot. Of, he do got a lot of hits though. If you think back, he got a lot of hits. He got a lot of, and they and they rocked that motherfucker too. Cause everybody mm-hmm. in there was it was good music. Yeah, they was feeling, it. and it was all racist. And I even seen white people that they you would think wouldn't even they wouldn't even listen to hip hop. They in now bobbing. And that arena, and they like hip hop. That he, arena was he, a. He consider hip hop. That's why I can't be racist. That's what I'm saying. Like, fuck that shit. Like, you meet so many people doing music. Like, you know what it is. You know, it's all kind of motherfuckers that's different. You know, just don't focus on the back to whatever. Music is melody though. That's yeah. what bring the world together though. Right. Because they go through the same shit we go through, exactly. so they can feel you. You know what I'm saying? That shit just the race. I mean, um, skin color is just so you know. It's bullshit. It is. It ain't that bad. It's just, I, just skin. Everybody, human beings, kid. Everybody. He just made me it think about. I was just thinking it's about. They like skin color ain't nothing. I was like thinking like, damn, you know, really, you really, you really right because it, it's just yeah. human beings. It's but just it's like media take out. You gonna focus on petty shit, motherfuckers gonna bring up. You know, you got. Look who you are fighting, niggas who trailer park trash, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about they Nazis. Man, those niggas ain't got no light. Those niggas on their couch in the middle of butt fuck Texas. We don't even go there. We don't care what they doing out there. They got their own little country. They, they ain't shit. coming out here. I mean, I know they're in Houston, too, but shit. Fuck them, too. Those they ain't fuck with me. I see somebody on the road with a Confederate flag on their car truck. I don't give a fuck. He got the right to believe in what he believe in. You know what he is. I know what he is. I, what I ain't even try to be his friend. I, I know what you. That's all yeah. with the Donald Trump shit. I know what when he you, is. When you get to seeing how people talk after all that shit, you just know who people are. After. I just, I that's what I look for. I just want to know who he is, you yeah. know, and know and know you. Okay, he this type of person. I, I know what and Donald Trump it. was when he won. First thing I said was, then when he tried to hire all the people he hired, so I knew some racist shit was going to come out. He, it just yeah. it came out real fast and anybody thought. But I yeah. know one thing, if you know Donald Trump, when he got in there, I know it wasn't nothing we could do about it. First thing I told everybody, everybody better get on his page because he going to be trying to get some money. So you just need to find out what we'll type of moves he's going to make. To open up the doors to get some money, cause he finna do it. That's that's all his moves is about right now. He a businessman. He keeping everybody thrown off, but in the in the war, he might really kick this war off because you know the president don't have to have. You don't need no bill to print no money when he kick off war. They know they need money, so yeah, you know he gonna kick that kick that money off. It makes sense. It make it kind of that was his plan from, from the beginning. He make that's to make it great again. Make America great again. Yeah. Well, how we gonna get some of this money? This motherfucking yes, friend, you, you, can't, you can't leave me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the clear, number one thing. You need to do something like what's that movie where they were selling them bullets to them people for the wall? We need to get in on that shit. We need to get yeah. something. Get in shit. on something. Get in. It's gonna be something. I forgot the name of that movie, man. Cause nah, you know what he's be. trying to figure out. Halliburton. 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 Oh, that was Bush. Yeah, that was Bush. Bush has set their people up for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three Texas companies got all the contracts. Bush got all that bread on the ranch somewhere with all that money. <laughs> on the ranch. Uh, Rich, like I made money eight years, set my whole. Family. You know, Donald Trump probably wondering where do he benefit off of taking the dude from North Korea now. So exactly, and see, I see what the dude from North Korea doing. He training his people to think one way. So if they do get him out of here, his people gonna keep on doing what he was trying to do. Yeah, yeah. If they do get him, yeah. It's a cold world. And he talk all that shit and just send motherfuckers over there to die for him. Yeah, he not going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. He not he. going nowhere. That's why. That's why they get getting nervous. Because <laughs> now dude is talking about getting over here. Well, dude is yeah. saying that every war, the United States always fight wars on somebody's homeland. And never on home theirs. Yeah. I'm looking up that Bush Ranch, too. That one for 1,600 acres. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm looking between Dallas and Austin. <laughs> now, oh. speak, speaking of... I, 
I'm gonna just give one note to the people, man. I heard some shit, and it just really it 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 struck a bell in me. But it just makes sense because we got so many people talking about bringing all our people together. This is something everybody need to take heed of because we got a lot of black people. Everybody not gonna be millionaires. Right. Bottom line, face it, it's just a fact. But. This is a note we can use, we can take to self, and it secure us. And it go back to something you always say, Slim. But we can get a million dollar insurance policy to leave generational wealth. You get it, you leave it to your kids. But when you leave it to your kids, don't let them take the million dollars. Leave them the interest. So... They get the interest a year, which would be a hundred thousand. And if they got a job or something, who can't live off a hundred another exactly. hundred thousand dollar check? Yeah. That's another hundred thousand dollar check compared to what you do. Exactly. And then make them keep up the policy and leave it to their kids. So mm-hmm. if we not millionaires, that's a way we can leave generational wealth. Just teach your kids to pay that insurance bill, and they'll right. keep up that million dollar policy. And just take that hundred thousand dollars a year. If you make an eighty, if you make a hundred, another hundred is two hundred. You comfortable? Good. You good? Mm-hmm. You good? You good? And you can leave your kids something. Yeah. That's some shit we that, just that's don't know some about. That shit. That, see, that's some shit that's we don't know that, about. That's a lot In of the shit middle like class that. America. On the other end, they know about that. Yeah. That's how they live and move on. You know what I'm saying? Now, if something happened to me, don't get a kid the million dollars because I heard you say this before. You can blow that million dollars in no time. But if you're getting 100000 a year... Exactly. And you can make it like that. You can set it you up like that. It. You can make it like that. I know somebody that did that case. Okay? Somebody had mama and daddy died. They got a certain amount. Or uh, after they died, yeah. then they had got some more when they was twenty five. Yes, yeah, so they then don't they, get it all. And then they set them up again after they was thirty. But they kept, they spent went through it the first dip, got it again, they went through it again though. But it, it held them over, you know what I'm saying? Kept building them out. But you you want to know why? Because they they it just took them thirty years to, to learn go, to and grow up. But you it was too late then. Yeah. But see, the parents were smart. Yeah. They were probably at the early age. The, the early age. ran through the... Right. If they gave them that whole thing, it would have been gone. It would have been gone. The it wouldn't have made it to 25. The bag would be gone. I heard AI did that with his yeah. money. That's why he stayed. Everybody saying AI broke. No, AI had his shit set up right. Yeah. You see them chunky ass diamond chains on yeah. the ground? Chuck still balling around this yeah. motherfucker. And then he, by the time he got his last bag, he grown. That's he know what to do with it. Yeah, I heard he did that too. That's dope. Bro. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. We need to teach our people that. Yeah, like, yeah, all that shit. And that's one from boss life to y'all, man. Let's wake up, man. Well, we got to figure it out. We got to come up with some type of way to, to teach all this shit to everybody. Maybe a book. Learn how to live on your means. Yeah. Because I be seeing a lot of, I look at that 30 for 30 a lot. That motherfucker, that, uh, yeah, I bought a yacht, this and that. You spent four, five million, nigga, on just yeah. that alone. And now you're sitting there looking yeah. boo boo face. Boo-boo. We talking about 50,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This nigga That's bought it. one for four million. Like, nigga, do you yeah. fish that or tan that much, nigga? Yeah. Shit. And then you don't know. You look, that four million, what is the upkeep a year? So he he would have done better t- getting four of his close buddies with money and say, hey, let's go in a meal apiece and bust that. Because y'all ain't going to use it the same fucking day anyway. Set it up like a time shell. Block the calendar off when you need it, my nigga. And boom. I'm going out. I'm going. Oh, got it Sunday. Fuck it. Well, me and my chick going Saturday, nigga. So you gonna need a, we're going to need to fill it back up by Sunday. It don't matter, fool. Back, you get to pay for the parking spot. You get pay to, for everything. You get to put it up out the salt water, all that, because what I find, like, it's an upkeep. And every time you go out in that salt water, you got to clean the boat out. You got to flush the Flush it. So it's a bill. You got to have the captain to dry, the wax, all that. get the wax, the soap. So yeah. that upkeep a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm yeah. scared. Nah, I ain't going to do that. Nigga, it you was an upkeep on my fishing boat. 
And that's why we sold it, because we wasn't using it like that. So every year, year and a half when we use it, you got to charge the batteries. The gas that sat in it for the winter, if the tank was half full, the condensation dripped down so it's water in the tank. So you got to, I don't know how to change the gas, so you got to take it to Joe Brown and they go home. He, you get it flushed out, recharge your batteries, shit done messed up, you got to have a cover. Seats get the dry riding and shit. After a while, like, Chad, we not fishing no more. Yeah. Fuck this boat. Yeah. We sold that bitch last year. Now what we want to do? We want to fish. <laughs> but I ain't mad because even taking it out, it's a lot of work. But you you, you learned it, and this is this is another you learning know, experience. Shit. Yeah, it's another learning experience. See, you pay taxes too. At the bottom of the tax paper, it's a thing: the boat and RV. Yeah, everything you spend on that boat is right off. Yeah, it was still just more than a headache. We go fishing, you bring that motherfucker in, you got to wash it off. You got to clean it. Everybody think you just go park it back. Nah, you got to clean that motherfucker off. Get the fish out the cooler. So it's a maintain. We still, I still don't want another one. I ain't going to lie. Shit. You want to hold the room down. You you want a cool boat. (laughs) You want. Like you say, they be up there in the 50, but there ain't going to be no See, brand new one. You can get your yeah, 0405. That'll be new. I want to yeah. slab it out myself. Anyway. There you go. Anyway. There you go. Yeah. Anyway. That's it right anyway. there. Yeah, you get your cool motherfucker, somebody in you, one of them niggas on 30 for 30. <laughs> they just spit 300000 and, and yeah. get you one of them motherfuckers. Just put one in the water. Yeah. 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 Where y'all going to take it? Conroe, Kima? You can fuck around, be up in Miami six we, days we later. Be, then, six doing, days we later, these niggas, niggas, we, we was going to Cuba, but somehow we landed in Miami. <laughs> Slim took a left turn and took a nigga somewhere too far. Them hoes mean that we be on in Miami. Yeah, yeah. Hoes, you can pull up out of that bitch. Yeah, pull up. We can leave here and go to Cancun. Yeah, them yeah. motherfuckers yeah. nice. But see, in Miami, you'll get more use out of it. You Conroe, they got some nice motherfuckers. You see them fools pull up at that poppers on the water, and they be pull up in that motherfucker with that big mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, 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 they jump off that bitch with they girl and they dog. See, that's, that's cool shit. Video. <clears throat> nah. that's some, yeah, that was some cool shit going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. It's cool. Yeah. Boats are cool though. If you just make yeah. yourself. Hey, I'm gonna take my shit out once a month at least. And get your, get your, you know, in Houston, you're going to be able to get it, take it out more than once. you able. You're able to take it out. You think about it. I, I don't think it's a bad investment for it. Because, look, it ain't like the shot. See, a lot of people in the shot got a boat. They got three or four months. That's it. Yeah. See, it's, yeah. it's October. You still can be in your boat yeah. right now in Houston. Yeah. You fuck around being in your boat on Christmas. <laughs> it ain't you even cold. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. What else going on? Running for a minute though. Fuck with them boats. Yeah. What else cracking around here, man? Anybody go to H Town rap battle? Damn. Did I seen there was a girl up there, uh, Dyke? She was going off. I seen on the clip. That ain't she, the right proper term to say that. That's know. what that's what the caption was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Dyke went off on these niggas. Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah. Hey, I mean, you know, hey, I didn't make the shit up. <laughs> I heard it was a nice turnout though. I heard they had another good. Show. Yeah, and it's good. It's getting better and better. Man. And what's the other dude from the North? Food, the light skinned dude, the big dude, look like B King. Huh? That rap from the North. Yeah, Ooh. you be smoking with him, fool. Oh, he be with those easy. Yeah. Look, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I heard he up there got up there and did his thing too. But I heard it was a good turnout. So it's what this Sunday just passed. Skip next Sunday, and it's the one after that. I think they want you to come and host, uh, be a judge. Oh, no, I he yeah, up. yeah, yeah. He tell, I told him hit us up that week. Shit, we finna go on tour in November. Well, is yours coming out? When that's dropping? Why he looked that shot like that? Like nigga, you put me on the spot. <laughs> We're gonna start doing you like Sam Slim. Where is the fucking tape? I know it's, I know it's coming. Dude. He been working. He been in that studio, man. I be my biggest issue is I. I get I get stuck when trying to find beats. I hate rapping on beats. I, I like. I only want to rap on beats I really like. I love. Like you know what I'm saying. So I try to be patient. And sometimes that should take a long time. But yeah, it's coming together though. I did some new songs the other day. That's dope. Any features? 
Man, fuck that. Don't worry about no features, nigga. I'm on that hoe. Word up. All right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we got some features on that hoe. All right. I'm just trying to build the buzz up. That's all. Like, trying to that get, get that space. I just ask you shit. Crit, Rick Ross, Sauce, so far. All right. That'll hold them over. You ain't got to keep remember. Yeah. All right, on. Well, we gonna put we gonna put that pressure on you. We got that uh, my boy Cam. Um, it's gonna be it's some different shit though. Some different shit. Yeah. You got that Slim Thug Love song on this one. Oh, Bring I need to sing put out. My, I need to do that. Yeah. I to, that's what I need to say. The I need world to is yours. When I go out here, these girls go crazy. They want pictures. You know what I'm saying? I need to focus on that, man. I need to stop what telling them bitches doing? and hoes. I need to start what showing you that doing? to them. You need a black queen song. I need to go in. Yeah, <clears> I need to get my life hey, together. man. I got something on the new album, though, for that. It make all the sense. The world is yours. Come. I'm grown. Yes. <laughs> I'm grown up because I got a girlfriend. I'm grown. That's the right thing to do. Yeah, I ain't got no boyfriend. Come on, I, well, come on spur, first off. Oh, nah, hey, first off, come outside for what? You name a great club night that's worth coming out. I ain't about that. It's about staying active. No, nigga. It ain't about staying active. I don't want to come out for some bullshit. I'll fuck around with address and all around Sundays. Right, what? <laughs> I'll never go out like that. That might be you before me, but I'll never go to a slut walk. I'll never be out there. He was just checking Young Jock, man. (laughs) He was just checking Young Jock, man. Just checking him and. The bad part about him was he was out there holding the sign, say with, with the sign. That's why he fucked up. She slipped that on him fast. You know how that happened. But you supposed know. to say, "No, nah, baby, I ain't. I'm out here supporting you." Yeah, you supposed to say, "Baby, now, I, I'm that? supporting you." That was you. the second part I looked at. Oh, what, what was that about? Uh, yeah. He tripping. Nah, man. You know. I don't even knock him for going because I'd have been out of the supporting your girl. You got to. I'd have been looking at a lot what was out there, but. The other couple things is like going too far. Like, couple things went too far. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being that supporting your woman, but a couple of things he went too far. Yeah. But she not gonna pick the outfit up well. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna be out there picking this shit with a sign. I ain't holding that. But I'll be there with you, baby. Sweat walk. I, I tried to give him the benefit of that thing. He was holding the sign for her, but then it didn't go like that because he had a sign and she had a sign. I said, like, ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna like it in a while. Yeah. He in love, right? Oh, oh the bad bitch you ever fuck. She bad. This what's going so on. So he happy. You know, she got her own bread. He like, damn, uh, winning like a mother. It's different. Yeah, he definitely yeah. in love. Yeah. He's supposed but to he have proposed. Like six months. He's supposed to have proposed already. No, nah, I ain't saying he ain't going to like her. I'm just going to be like, he's he not going like, to like the things he done. Yeah, some of the shit he did, you know. Yeah, we know for sure he ain't going to like <laughs> that. Yeah, he probably don't like it now after he's sitting back looking at the pit like, I really hell that motherfucker <laughs> like that. <laughs> damn, it ain't look that bad. What? what was I doing? Uh, to each his own. Like that though, They'll throw you under the bus and try to make you think it's okay, babe. Man, you gotta stand your ground, man. Babe, you can't hold this side. Say That's I'm a what hoe. I'm saying, man, they will try you to death. You gotta be the man. So uh, no, I'm not fucking doing that. Uh, no, I'm at this motherfucker. I'm smoke my weed and sit in the car and watch you from here. And that is. He could even perform though. Is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I just ain't see too much. I mean, we different, though. We old. So, you know, that's what they going to say. We old. I don't want to hear that, Rick. <laughs> you know, uh, I ain't holding no sign. Know, yeah. Hey. That's funny. <laughs> it was funny than the motherfucker when I saw it, too. I'm just than the motherfucker. I hope I ain't smacking in that year. Fire. Yeah, well. Well. Slut walk. <laughs> Texas blows the people out, man. Yeah. Oh, Texas, yo. I can't even watch, but we balling like a motherfucker. The shine is in the building, man. We all the way now. Who we beat, anyway? Titans. Titans. Blue. Then beat them. Blew them out. 57, huh? 57, 14. Yeah. 
All Texans fans, we going to the ship. We going to the ship. <laughs> we there. But we everybody been saying all along, we was missing a good quarterback. You know, and you know what they learning? The whole league is learning from this because I watched it. Now, yesterday from Chicago, all the teams, they putting in the rookies now. They quitting all that shit. You bring the rookies in, you sitting the rookies on the bench. Like, it's wasting money they paid that other quarterback because he been out since the first game. Yep. What you get this boy off of the, uh, you want a high pick to get him, play him. Play him, see what he got. Don't yeah. wait till somebody That's get how hurt. you learn, though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You learn in the game. You know, all that watching from the sideline. Fuck that. We, you know, all, we, it's you a new we generation. Going, yeah. We need you. Yeah. You got, we got a bill. We got it's to figure out. It's a new generation. Yeah. Let's, let's go now. You learn from experience, not practice. Exactly. Practice make you better. You just got to keep practicing. You learn from experience, man. Well, a lot of these teams should have picked up Kaepernick. Because a lot of them need a good quarterback. They need them. That'll stop it's the a, protest. It's a, it's a job. No, I'm just saying because he can really play. It's like no need to not pick him up. Like and it just show you how they still on it. Not important. His main issue is about blacks, the way we treat it, the way we get done. Because he had even a grill. He agreed. Excuse me. That he wasn't gonna need. Yeah, but he said he wasn't gonna need. Why don't put his hand on his heart? But he wasn't gonna need this year coming in. He had already felt like he made his point. He agreed. He said yeah. he wasn't gonna need. That lets you know it's a black ball situation. Exactly. And now they want to get on the field with the teammates. We don't. Y'all, don't, y'all the ones black ball. Yeah. So y'all exactly. Getting out here with that, that don't, that's y'all just, getting out here for business. That's a business plan. That's our Jerry Jones getting out there. Uh, kneeling down, all that is business. Hey, I'm gonna shut these niggas up. I'm gonna get out there and take a knee with them. Yeah, I'm gonna take a knee with them and I'm gonna shut them up and they're gonna feel good. I'm gonna get next to Brian. Keep keep, keep working. That's all he's saying. He ain't getting out there. Nigga, in that case, do something about it. Speak up. But they don't want to talk about that issue. But they sticking together. They they sticking together. Once again, (laughs) once again, they doing what the fuck they supposed to do. Sticking together. Okay, nah. Man. I watch a, a a regular commentator on the TV. They will not answer that question. They, they, but they disrespect the flag. They train to do that. You know, in them news media, they tell them, hey, yeah. you get away from that, you better stick with this right here. Or you lose your job. Hey, the, the one dude, Vance, he got on there and he said, but what about the reason? What about the how they treating the black community? What about the police brutality? What about this? Dude said, well, you know, that's the president of America, and you don't know, suppose to disrespect the president of America. <laughs> and first of all, they're disrespecting the flag. <laughs> Fuck all that. What happened to the question? But, the question just totally went away. I say, oh, yeah, they got it down pat. Yeah. They letting you know what it is, and it is what it is. That's why we got to stick together. If we stick and together, we can change it. Because yeah, whether we know it or not, we make up a great percentage. They need we us. We make a change. They need. They need us. But you want to know what they know? We don't stick. together. We don't stick together. They. They did us. They. They planted that seed for us. Yeah. And for real, and we just kept going with it. We ain't figured it out. What we, we too? Gotta figure it we out. gotta figure it. We gotta figure we it. We gotta figure. Fig- definitely, that one gonna go Come on, on for. Generation, wake up! Let's figure. It. Let our generation be the generation. Stop man. being fuck niggas. <laughs> Stop being on want to mean mug a nigga for no yeah, reason. Then want to come yeah. together and cry when they take out one of our leaders. Like it's nothing we gonna do then. Let's stand up now. You either you niggas gonna beef out here or beefing that tank together. So y'all better be and, cool and out here. That's another part they put the fear in us. Everybody know. I think that's the reason why a lot of people don't want to step up. Because they know they get every time some that somebody that can put us together or somebody be trying, they either going to kill them or, or lock them up. Jail together. So I think as, as a whole, as a people, we're afraid of that. So we're afraid to take them stands together. Like So they got the shackles on us. They know it's a mentality game. They know, they know. Okay, all we gotta do is knock one of them off. So, how do we beat our slave masters? 
How? <laughs> Talk about supporting each other. Stick together, man. Just talking about supporting each other. Yep. And then once we grow, we stick together enough, we'll grow to have that voice. And when we sticking together, we'll be able to back each other and protect the one that's speaking for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well. The revolution, my brother. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to him. Like it's a Black Panther party. Shit, they not saying it on no yeah. nothing else. They ain't, yeah. it ain't they ain't saying it on BET, HBO. We saying it on Connect. Yeah, man. they ain't saying it together, it. man. Yeah. They ain't saying it on nothing else. Yeah. Power to the people, our people. Hey, <laughs> hey, you could be white and be on our side too. We ain't yeah. racist. We Come on racist. in. We definitely need some of y'all yeah. on the That's team, man. Yeah, we could be one million blacks and a half a million whites with us. Let's we one point five strong for all the same meaning. So no, we ain't going for the foolish. We're not over here to be fooled, man. Yeah, well, we better cut it out before they come over here and kill or jail our black ass for for trying to get too strong and slip. I am. I don't care. Fuck them hoes. I I ain't scared of them, niggas. Stop saying it like I'm scared. If I got to go down for my people, Slim, that's just what. <laughs> have a be what that nigga said on that death row. If I go down for this little African boy to have a future, then I'm a dead motherfucker right now. <laughs> I was like Rico. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> we sponsored by BossLifeWorld.com. Boss Life Construction. Burns Barbecue. Boss Life Bill. The Connect. The Connect. Music.com. And we are Hustle Fit. Hustle Fit. Get better, gang. Get better, get worse, man. Health is your wealth. That is all that. You tuned in to the connect.